Hi, in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing and review for the Reolink Argus PT. So this is a security camera that comes with a solar panel in a different package. It is five megapixel video. We're going to test all of the video quality during the day and night further down in the video. And the price is $97 at the time of this recording. It has a discount from $160 down to $97. You can check it out with a link in the description. Let's go ahead and open the box to see what we have. So this is the solar panel. As you can see, it comes with a really long cable and we have a mount. We have a strap for some reason. I'm not sure why that's included. And we have a cable and some tools. We have the antenna. We have all the tools we need. We have a USB type C for charging. We have the camera right here. It looks like a solid camera. So we have the infrared lights and we have the flashlight. We have the lens in the middle and at the bottom, I'm assuming this is the motion sensor detector. I'm assuming we have a two way audio. I'm not sure. We're going to test that out when we install the app. Pretty much the 180 degree tilt and we have like a 360 pan. We have an on and off switch at the back. So everything is sealed. So that means uh, this device is waterproof and it should be. I mean, it's going to be out in the rain. We also have a speaker up here. So that's definitely have a two way audio, which is really good and necessary because sometimes you see someone in front of the camera and you want to tell them, OK, I mean, what's the situation? We also have a micro SD slot at the top here. I'm not sure if the micro SD is included. I'm going to check. I don't think the micro SD is included. So you're going to have to purchase the micro SD yourself. Self. These cameras, they don't really need like a high speed micro SD uh, and an average micro SD would be fine. Only have one antenna for the Wi-Fi connection and it supports the five gigahertz Wi-Fi. So it should be fast and reliable. It supports the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi. So if you need long range, it will be 2.4. And if you have it at short range, but you need a more higher quality, seamless uh, video feed, uh, you can switch to five gigahertz. That depends on your router, basically. You can have the app on the App Store or Google Play. Welcome to RioLink. Please install RioLink app. Connection to the router succeeded. Connection was super fast though. Okay, so we can click on the live video feed and that's what we are seeing right now i can just check uh, what's going on with the camera so far we're getting a really nice quality it's five megapixel that's what i expected it's uh when it moves we're gonna get some artifacts and but it's seamless it's there's not much lag so that means the five gigahertz uh wi-fi works really good and we have some options i can actually play and pause the video we can uh, open the speaker. speaker. Okay, so when the speaker is open, there's a microphone on the camera, so you can hear what's going on uh, surrounding the camera. And we're gonna have a camera button here. I think it's gonna take a picture. It does. And we have a, a camera recording, so it's gonna re start recording. So when you press that button, it's gonna record on your phone. Right now, there is no SD card is installed on this camera. It's just I'm testing it. And right now it's recording on my phone. OK, when you open the app, it's going to do that. But when it's outside and it's not uh, connected to your phone, it's going to automatically record on the SD card. So that's why you need the SD card. And we can also change the resolution of the camera. We have fluent and we have clear. So there's two quality option. If you choose clear, it's going to give you a higher quality video, but it's going to have a little bit of lag to process and send it to the router and then to your phone. But Fluent is a lower resolution, but it's seamless. It's faster between the camera and your phone uh, feed. So I'm going to leave it on clear because I want to get the maximum quality just for the sake of this video. And we have the option to go full screen. At the bottom, we have a button to talk. So you can do, uh, you can have a two way audio uh, like that. So, hello? Hello? Hi? Hi. Okay, so that was a good uh, audio feedback from the camera. It's a little bit on the low end, but I think it will be good enough for, uh, for the outdoor. So it doesn't really bother, I don't know, the neighbors, but 
Uh, I'm gonna try it out uh, later on in the video just to make sure the volume is okay. This is a really nice function. So that's a magnifying. So we have a live feed and you click on the magnifying uh, glass and you can zoom in on the details. I mean, maybe you wanna uh, read I don't know, a license plate on a car, you can zoom in like that, that's pretty good. That's a really nice function that I haven't seen on other cameras. And we have a PTZ, I think that's the camera movement. We can control the camera movement through the app, up, that's the maximum, and I go down, it should go, oh, it's actually turning back all the way. So that's a 180 degree monitor point. Okay, so another good feature of these devices that you can set positions that the camera monitor constantly. So let's say if you have a car and you have a garage door or your bike is somewhere else, you can set the point to your car, to your bike, and all the way back. So the camera is gonna be switching between those points of uh, monitor uh, constantly so the device will auto return to the initial monitoring position after deviation after that we can go to the playback okay so the playback is only for the videos recorded on the SD card so in my gallery the videos I recorded on my phone I, is playable so I can check it out on my phone without needing the app and we have the alarm button at the top so if I press the alarm it's gonna do an alarm I didn't know it has the alarm let's try it trigger Okay, so when I press it, it just do it once and it stops. I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. So I need to constantly press it and, and the alarm is not really loud. I don't know if you could tell in the video, but the alarm is not super loud though. Uh, maybe at night when everything is quiet, that would be enough, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna test it out though. And we also have the flashlight. So let's try the flashlight. Okay. That's a decent flashlight. Uh, if it's during the night, I mean, I think it's gonna illuminate lots of stuff. That's cool, pretty bright. And then we have a day and night. So the black and white is gonna be the infrared video feed using these uh, sensors, basically the infrared lights. And we have the color mode for the night as well. Yeah, I can see the infrared lights are on, but we're gonna check the video feed as well. During the night, it's gonna be a lot better and now we can go to the setting the battery is at 24 percent when i install it on the outdoors i'm going to connect it to the solar panel so during the day it's going to be recharging and the, during the night it's going to use the built-in battery uh, we have a couple of options we can flip vertical and flip horizontal so that is useful when you install the camera i don't know upside down or from the side uh, you can use this feature to get the correct video feed. Let's go back, we have the audio. So we can turn on the audio recording or turn it off. That's an option, I don't know who needs that. We have the light, so we have a status, infrared, auto, and we have the spotlight. So auto on for live view. We have a couple of modes, so night smart mode. So night smart mode is really good because let's say I have it on my porch and when something happens, it will turn on the light and it's not on all the time. That's the best feature because it's, some of the neighbors may complain about it. When something happens, you need to have the flashlight on. That's a good option, but you can turn it off. That's good, we can do that. Like I said, we have a motion sensor, which is really good because some other cameras don't have the motion sensors and they just rely on the AI features of the camera. In my testing, the motion sensors is always more accurate. You can have a change in sensitivity, how far we want it to be detecting. That's good. Okay, so we can set a detection zone for the alarm. If it detects a person, vehicle, animal, it will sound the alarm. So if it's an animal, we have a motion mark beta. Okay, so it's gonna basically rely on AI features. It's gonna tell us if it's a car, if it's an animal, if it's a person, depends on uh, the situation. So, and for the alarm setting, we can set the sensitivity. If it's a person, uh, 60, vehicle 60, all of them are 60. And we can also select the object size. That's good, we have different options here. And for the camera recording, we have it on. We can schedule, okay. So we have an option to schedule during the day or during the week when we want it to record. So that's another good function. So let's say you have it in your business 
and you are off on weekends you're not gonna set it on record on the weekends or maybe on the weekends when you're not there uh, that's a pretty good function and post motion record duration so let's say it triggers the camera for motion and how long it's gonna record we have eight eight seconds 15 seconds and 30 seconds I think 15 is a better option we have an option for override recording if you have like a 64 gigabyte SD card and it goes over that uh, limit it's gonna rewrite on older files so you're gonna lose those older files so make sure you have the right amount of SD card I believe it supports up to 250 gigabyte of SD card I'm not sure though and we have an option for push notifications on your phone I usually turn it off because it gets annoying and we can schedule okay so when you're like asleep it's not gonna give you a notification but I'm gonna turn it off all the way and for the siren we can turn it on and turn it off that's kind of weird I can do it in the settings and it also supports custom sound so you basically can use different alarm sounds and we have another option which is really useful is the share camera so let's say you have uh, you want to share it with your I don't know security manager or your spouse your kids whatever you can share this uh, camera so they ha you can have access to this camera and we have another option which is a time lapse so let's say you want to record I don't know sunrise to sundown uh, you can have it uh, using this feature and that's pretty much the settings okay so I'm just gonna go install it in my porch and try all the features record during the day night and I will be back with the full review so stay tuned all right let's talk about the real link so I installed the camera on my porch and the installation was super easy very convenient and the solar panel cable is pretty long and it's working fine I connected to the camera and it's charging right now last night the battery was 30% but today it's on 20% because I was just testing so much with all the settings and all the features let's start with the video quality so I capture some footage during the day and night and the video quality is pretty good it's a 5 megapixel camera uh, video is sharp detailed uh, especially when it's like stationary but when you move the camera uh, you can see a little bit of artifacts um, and pixelation just because the camera is moving and it needs time to process the video and that's normal I have that issue I mean not issue with all of the security cameras that I tested in the past but the quality is good you're not gonna have problem like finding out what people look like I don't know the faces stuff like that and that's the video quality during the day and also at night you can have a really good quality video because it used the infrared lights to illuminate and it's gonna be black and white but still you can see what's going on the video quality is, is a little bit less than the day because I mean it needs more light to get a high quality image you can see uh, when the objects are moving or people are moving during the night you can see some smearing effect when they're moving that's normal that's okay it's not gonna really matter at the end of the day because you can turn on the flashlight on auto mode and it's gonna capture a lot sharper and higher quality image when you have the flashlight and the flashlight is actually really good I didn't expect it to be like this bright those tiny lights can illuminate so much space but it was really good and uh, it was working fine the motion sensor detects a movement and it's gonna turn on the flashlight but I turn it off because it's gonna be really annoying for my neighbors just tearing on and off uh, so I I'm happy that I have that option so I can turn it off and also during the night you can also have an option to turn the infrared lights off so you get like a colored night vision video but for that function you need a flashlight to be on so you can get a really high quality image let's talk about the audio cord in my testing the microphone works very good I was kind of far away from the camera and you can hear the person speaking on from the security camera really good I didn't expect that the speaker would be that good but it was uh, really decent it wasn't like really loud or anything because it's gonna annoy people but it was decent so the microphone and the audio works fine as well and for the siren I tested the siren the siren is not really loud it's just not gonna scare anybody but I think it's a good feature to have 
than not to have it, but it's not really loud. It's, it could scare animals or stuff like that, but if somebody's trying to steal something, it could, but it's not really loud though. And the app functions are really good. And I also tried the magnifying glass to zoom into the video. But it's like a digital zoom and it's not gonna really be detailed. I mean, if you wanna zoom into a license plate or something in the background, it's just a feature to have, but it's not really useful. We can control the camera very easy. I didn't have any problem with the camera movement. And we have the monitor points. I couldn't really figure out how to use the monitor points. How can I set the points? Uh, that was my issue. But when I pressed return to monitor point, it will go back to the original state, but I don't know how to set that original or the second or third one. Uh, I'm not sure if you know, uh, leave a comment and let me know. All right, let's talk about the playback. So playback is really awesome. And because the motion sensor actually detects really fast and it gives you a timeline of every little movement. So during the night it was on, so I can see any movement. Just if you pay attention, when the camera detects a motion, till the time it will start recording, there's like a three or four second delay. So keep that in mind, but at least we have a feature that we can rely on. And you can go all the way down and it shows every movement based on the time and a date. So you can go back and see what's happened during the day at this specific time. Awesome feature and the motion sensor actually works fine. And I didn't have any issues with the Wi-Fi connection. It was connected seamlessly, never had an issue with the Wi-Fi disconnected and anything like that. And also I tested the push notification. So every time it detects a movement, it will send you a push notification and you press it, it will open the live feed of the camera so you can see what's going on. That's a really good feature. I had some cameras that when you press the push notification, it's just showing you an image, but you wanna really see what's going on. And the camera uh, records the what happened on the SD card. So you have that footage as well on the video. So you're not gonna be worried. I guess that's pretty much what this camera can do. And I think this is a, a really good, decent camera that you can purchase at this price point. Uh, anything above that may be a little bit too much, but the hundred dollar mark is a really good uh, purchase for this camera. All right, let me know what you think about this camera. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section and I answer them to the best of my knowledge. And before you go, please like this video, leave a comment uh, to support me for doing these honest reviews for you because I don't have any sponsors and your likes gonna help me get this video suggested to other people. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.